Hey, this is Cookie Pirate, and I am at church. In case no one believes me when I, you know, when I talk about Mormons in Puerto Rico, there's the icon. There are indeed Mormons in Puerto Rico, and I'm here, and today is a special opportunity that I can encounter an old tie of mine. In any case, as the fates would have it, something very interesting happened. Now, when I began my mission, my first area was St. Croix, and my first companion on the mission gave me a tie. It was an incredibly ugly tie. And the whole point of this tie is that it goes down from missionary to missionary, each one leaving their mark, you know, saying Elder such and such gave it to Elder such and such. And as interesting as fate is, this tie has returned to Puerto Rico, and Actually, the missionaries serving here in Aguadilla have it. So I want to show you the oldest generation tie I have ever encountered. It is 20 years old. It began in 1991, which is actually older than these young men over here. The, the tie is now older than most of the missionaries. Are. Oh, yeah, well, I was 1990. Oh, you were born in 1990. Yeah, but he's about to die, so. And die, I mean end the mission. He's not dying, dying. But um, this is the tie. It is very ugly. But at the same time it's like, it's perfect for a G lineage tie because it almost seems kind of like sacred, like something, like some kind of relic. But I want to open this up. As you can see it began in 1991 and it went on several generations and they're just going to continue to ride into it until there's no room and then they'll figure something out I don't know no one wears it so but yeah. now the holder of the tie is Elder Hill yep. in any case have a good day you viewers